So you guys are probably gonna be a little, oh wait, we're good. I was gonna say you guys are probably gonna be a little crooked. I have you propped up on a bucket. So we have been going at it in this bathroom. We have been working on it non-stop for the last week. So I am so hungry right now. I grabbed one of our Built Bars from downstairs. So I do wanna say a huge shout out to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I have a whole box of them. So anytime I'm hungry, need a snack, I actually mainly use these for after we work out, but I'll grab a Built Bar. My favorite flavor, well, first of all, they have a total of 18, 18 different flavors. This one is the mint brownie. This is definitely hands down my favorite. But the main reason why I love these is that they are zero guilt free which I cannot say that about other protein bars that I have tried and used to eat in the past. This one has 17 grams of protein, 130 calories, and only four grams of sugar. Now let's be honest for a second. Most of the time, protein bars, they don't even taste that great. Like the consistency, sometimes even the flavor is not good. It seriously tastes like I am biting into a chocolate bar. Look at that. Like I said, I've tried protein bars in the past. They're dry, almost chalky. These are not like that at all. The crazy thing is, is that it's 100% real chocolate. I'm gonna take another bite because I am so hungry. And these are so good. And another pro is that there's no preservatives and they're also gluten-free. So you guys wanna check out Built Bar if you've been looking for the perfect protein bar. If you're hungry, on the go, after a workout, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can also get 10% off. If you use our code MOROS10, that will get you 10% off your order. So if you guys are wanting to try them, at least use my coupon and get some kind of discount. If you guys have tried them before, leave down in the comments, what is your favorite flavor? And then if you also get them, come back to this video, tell me what your favorite flavor is. And again, thank you so much Bill Bar for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, welcome to part two. I'm trying to get Frank in here as well. Part two to the bathroom makeover. And you guys are opening up the wallpaper. I am so excited because it's different when you see the picture of what you've picked out versus seeing it in person. That's how I felt about the wallpaper in the girls' room. I do want to give a huge shout out to Lumwell because they are amazing. We love their wallpaper so much. If you are looking for wallpaper, thinking about wallpaper, anything to do with wallpaper. Theirs is great. We yes. highly recommend them. We love them so, so much. I think they've actually given me a coupon code. If they have, I'm pretty sure that they have. I think they do. I'll leave that all down below. You guys can check them out. I don't think you guys right, are prepared for this one. And I do want to say that, well, they give you step-by-step -step instructions from start to finish, but I will say hands down, this is the easiest wallpaper to install. Because you can take it off and put it back on. It's reusable. That's the best part. So And it doesn't hurt your walls. Yes, it doesn't. So when you take it off, we've experienced this in the past where it took paint off. It will not ruin your wall. So let's say you put wallpaper up and you're moving or you change your mind, you can easily take it off. Alright you guys. Are they ready? Let's give them a little just a little sneak peek. Just a little one. Just a little one. I hope they can already tell what it's going to be. No, they don't. I don't know. <laughs> so we're really, really excited because this is outside of what I would get. You guys know me. I like my basic box. prints. Yeah, I don't so that it's out of the box for me. So I guess the only thing that we really need to worry about on this wall is the shower head, the toilet, yep. and the lights. Let me show you guys. So we have obstacle one, obstacle two, and then Obstacle three is the lights yeah. and the camera just want to focus. First thing I recommend is wiping down your walls. Wiping down the dust. The kids somehow got shampoo in that corner over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, yes, so I'm gonna have to wipe that down. Frank just got done filling these holes and sanding them, so I'm not too worried about them. I just know they probably have a little bit of dust on them. Got it all. <laughs> but you wanna make sure that the wall that you're putting the wallpaper on, you want it to be as clean as possible. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me Alright you guys, so 
this might be one of the silliest ideas that I think I've ever really come up with, but I told Brittany, let's take apart the faucet and spray paint it black to save us money because you can take all of this apart, break it down into little pieces and spray paint it. There's only one problem. How is it going to hold up? And is it actually going to look good? Because I got like a gloss black. And I really, I don't think I meant to, but we're gonna see how it turns out because I've got some other spray paint in the garage that I can use as well. But I got this one completely taken apart and I'm gonna get started like taping everything up. That way no spray paint gets anywhere near the actual water out or the water inlets and stuff like that. So it doesn't affect the functionality of the faucet itself. All right, you guys, so here goes the moment of truth to see how this is gonna turn out. I mean, it might get some decent coverage. I think I gotta, I think I'm gonna have to set you guys down. And it feels like I pretend, keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. And as my head don't feel my spark between the chores and bottle jug, just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving. showed you guys the shower head do you guys by the way let me ask you guys really quick do you guys like when you, we give you step-by-step -step updates so let me know if you guys like that or should we just keep it plain and simple just keep it plain and, and simple just or just show it but I feel like we have to explain it okay I'll let you guys let me know in the comments down below also Frank oh wait you already showed that yes I did okay so I'm, I don't need to right, explain so that. I want to say that like I'm super excited but nervous at the same time oh. when I took them apart I was like oh this is gonna be kind of easy and then when I started spray painting it I was like uh, this could be a because it's a little it's, it's a little tacky oh sticky like sticky yeah I thought you meant tacky like it's tacky. <laughs> no it's just a little sticky so mm -hmm. I'm hoping that as long as it bakes in the sun and It'll gets dry. Like super, super dry, mm -hmm. then we'll be fine. Okay. But we're crossing our fingers that that works. Yes, but first we gotta get to the wallpaper. So did you figure it out? It's labeled, yeah, it's so. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. That's what I also I like about Loomwell is that it is labeled so we know which way or which one comes next because it's a so, pattern so so i'm thinking we can lay this in Nolan's room okay that way we could just bring the sheet in here oh, on top okay because yeah. there's no that's a good idea oh it's long i know and there's gonna be we could probably go ahead and cut it because it's not uh yeah you can actually I swear I never thought it would matter. if i'm going back now all my weakness keep on Just the top? Just the top. Because okay. there's enough space behind here that I can just like push it down. Uh huh. But like, obviously. That place, yeah. A little too tight. I was going to try it, but then I was like, there's no way. And then it's just going to look like crap. So <laughs> why not just take it off? I'm already here. So right? it looks like so far. I was really nervous about that corner right there, yeah. but it looks like it's going to be. It looks just like it'll fun. be fine, yeah. So we were talking as he was putting this up. I was like, are these peaches or oranges? Because I originally got them because I thought they were peaches. They look like oranges. But they look like oranges. But they're not at the same time because of the two different contrasts. If you guys see like the darker part of it and the lighter part of it, like could they be peaches? I don't know. So that will be the debate in the comments down below. Are they peaches or oranges? Or are they apricots? I'm just
All right, you guys, so now that we have gotten to the lights, I've got to take both sets of the lights down and I'm getting ready to, well, actually I'm working on taking this one down and then I'll move to the next one. Just because for practicality purposes to just have this off is so much better. I know the lighting is gonna be awful, but bear with us because this shouldn't take too long. than the ones downstairs that we have. If you guys know the entryway mirror, these are on Amazon. I got the ones, those from Target. Um, it's a, only a few inches bigger than this one. So I'm like a little nervous. Like, did I get too big? We're about to find out. Okay. That's scary. Mommy, what's in there? There's the mirrors. Huh? Mirrors for the bathroom. Wait. Since we won't have that mirror anymore. Oh, the mirrors are not, not on there anymore? Not anymore. Yeah, see, I want to see what it looks like. Wait, is there another one in there? Yep, there's two. I'll get this time, Mommy. Okay. Okay. It's not bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's still pretty big. I think it will work. We'll see. All right, we're gonna see what it looks like. I'm a little nervous. All right, this is huge. I know. Yeah. Oh no, that looks good. I like that. It might just need to be go down a little bit more. Let me look over here. It is. Yeah. No, that looks. I think that is the perfect size. So the mirrors are going up. We just put this nice wallpaper down, and now we have to. <coughs> put holes in it. We sure did. But it's okay. I mean, we expect that. This little guy right here makes it hard to get anything done. He is into everything. Look, he's looking around to see what he can mess with. Huh? <laughs> he's, like, he's looking for the toilet cleaner, the brush right there, because I had it over oh here. My Lord. No, I put it up. It's all gone. Anchoring it down. So while Frank is doing that, I went ahead and took off the handles and I got a magic eraser, or what is it called? Is it a magic eraser? The Mr. Yes. Clean magic eraser? Yes. And I'm gonna try to clean this up the best that I can. And I'm gonna put the handles on here that we got. They're actually right here. The same ones that we put, I don't know if we ever showed you guys, but the same ones that we put in our kitchen, they are brushed brass bar cabinet pulls. And then here's actually the towel rack and the towel hooks that these will go on the shiplap. how good this come out with just spray paint. That's gonna look so good. I can't wait to get that in. All right, so I got the cabinets cleaned as best as I could. It's, I'm almost thinking I might have to eventually repaint these cabinets. They have definitely 
did a number to these cabinets. close so so close to finishing up the kids bathroom so Frank last night put up a lot of the finishing touches you guys saw he put up all of the towel racks we were only gonna put up five but decided last minute to put a sixth one up sorry you guys I'm so out of breath right now so if we have guests they can hang a towel here but for right now I just have this hanging floral basket he put up the towel ring you guys this bathroom because it was so basic like that's the best word I could use because we got everything so basic in here we didn't even get a towel rack or a towel ring nothing so we finally got that installed and put one in here he also hung up this wash your hand sign this is from Target from the hearth and hand um, you guys saw that we put up the mirrors they ended up being the perfect size let me show you guys let me back up a little bit just to give you guys an idea of how big they are we did lower them a little bit instead of putting them in the middle because the kids they're still so tiny and then if we put it up higher they wouldn't be able to see themselves in the mirror when they're brushing their teeth and getting ready for school and then we also put the toilet paper holder up as well i just have to paint that little spot right there there's like a little bit of finishing touches i put the handles on here and you guys saw that frank spray painted the faucets i know it looks a little weird i just noticed that it looks weird with this being silver and this being black i was thinking about getting faucets or spray paint that match this but I felt like that was going to be too much gold in this bathroom because of the mirrors, the hooks, the rack. That's why we decided to do them black to kind of go with the lights. And then also the towel hooks are black as well. Um, so the fact that that's black or not black doesn't bother me too much. We might end up buying new ones, but I just wanted to address that because I know we'll probably get questions and comments about that. So the last thing to do in here is vacuum, mop the floor clean up the counters and then I have a few things that I want to put out to decorate but I think that's gonna be it for this bathroom makeover we're this close this close we're almost to the finish line
Okay, ready? Oh, wow. Oh, it's those mirrors. Those are pretty. What do you think? I like it, isn't it? Oh, you got the, um, you got a towel holder, too. Do you want to show Nolan and Harlow? Yeah, Nolan Harlow, come here. I like it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Harlow, come see it. Nolan, come see it. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so the kids' bathroom is officially done. As you guys saw, I FaceTimed the kids to show them their bathroom because they are with their dad this weekend and we're actually leaving today before they get back. So I at least wanted to show them and get their reaction and see how they liked it. Ari is probably the one that liked it the most because she's the one that cares the most. Not that the other two don't care, but they're just like, okay, it's a bathroom. But Ari was really excited. She loved it. I love it so much. I debated if I was going to put a different shower curtain in here, but I decided to leave the one that we had before. I think it just adds more color to it. It definitely makes it more a kid's bathroom as well because I was also afraid that this would make it seem a little bit too, I guess, not sophisticated. That's not right, the right word. I don't know. I just wanted it to be fun and colorful for them. So everything that I got for this bathroom and previously had, I will link down below for you guys, anything and everything that I can. So all of that will be down in the description as well as where you can get this wallpaper as well as built bars. So we hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We're not sure what our next project will be. We have a few ideas. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys will be able to see what we are up to next. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.